Hi guys, we're in the bathroom looking at the taps. Uh, we've been here over 10 years, probably 12 years now, maybe even a bit longer than that, come to think of it. Um, we don't use this. We normally have a shower. Very rare that we actually use the taps for the bath. In fact, probably the only person who uses them is me when I want to test model boats in the bath. But this has, or did have, a handle there to divert the water to the shower handle, sort of thing you use for washing your hair if you want to. And because it's been used so rarely, it's actually locked in place and corroded. So when we tried to use it, it just snapped the handle off. I have a replacement set of taps rather than try and get this apart and repair it. We're just going to replace them. But that's not the problem. The problem is the bath, which was here when we got here, is built in. This surround doesn't just pull out, oh, out of focus, sorry. Yeah, back in focus, right. This doesn't pull out nicely because I think it was put in and then possibly this wooden flooring was put in afterwards. So it's actually sealed in place. You can't pull it out. And you can't just lift it up because the weight of the bath prevents you doing that. And if you do lift it up, you'll crack all the tiles as well. So I've been trying to figure out how to get these panels off so I can get to the back of the taps. And I think I may have an idea. I'll just reposition the camera. Right, you can't see particularly well, but these panels, they've got a couple of wooden pegs in them, or dowels, that stop them sliding around. If I just get this under the edge, so you can lift them up a little bit. If I lift them up too far, then we got the problem of trying to lift the edge of the bath and cracking the tiles. But I think I can probably use a saw blade and get underneath and cut the, pe cut the dowels because so I can replace them afterwards. You probably can't see what I'm looking at. Yeah. So I should be able to cut through the dowels at the bottom, then that will come out and we'll have access to the taps. So that's what I plan to do. We need to do the end of that one as well, but if we get this one out, we, we can at least see what's going on. Now we can see. So I still need to get that one out, but at least I know that I can do it. And then we'll be able to get to the back of those taps. I'll just hold the camera up here a bit. We have got. Stop, um, 
I keep calling them stop cocks. They're not stop cocks, but they are valves that we can turn off. So we can actually work on it. Right. This is, hang on, let's come up a little bit. These are the culprits. So I've cut the bot bottom ones off and I should be able to replace them if necessary. Right, we can see a bit clearer now. So I've got a couple of valves there I can turn off. And then we should be able to get to the pipes. Fairly easily. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not good news. As soon as I turn that valve, there's water actually leaking out the side of it. So it doesn't turn off. So I'm going to have to replace that valve. And to replace that valve, I'm going to have to turn off the cold water. That's annoying. I don't happen to have one of those valves handy either, so... How annoying things can be when you want to do a simple bit of plumbing. You can see the drip there. In fact, if you look down there, I've put a plastic tray there now to catch the drips. It's only a tiny drip, but that's how you get damp patches in your ceiling, a tiny drip. Oh, that is annoying. Right, well, we can't go any further at the moment. I have to get a replacement valve. And do this when I can turn the cold water off. Well, just to add to the fun, I've turned the cold water off at the main stock clock where it comes into the house. And as you can see, we have no water running. Except we do still here. That's because the bath is fed from the cold water tank in the lock. So I've actually got to drain down that tank before we can do any work. So even though the cold water is turned off at the main, we've still got a tank full of it in the loft. And we've got to drain out before we can start work. Because that valve isn't working underneath. A lot of modern houses don't have a cold water tank up in the loft. But we do, because we're an old house. Well, the flow is reducing, must have nearly emptied the tank. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.